Come out to the box. Out the box. Out the box. Yeah. YouTube, cheers, and welcome to the basement. My name is Bruce Lively, and I'm D-Boy Slim. And the basement is the first daily hip hop debate show. From Tuesday through Friday, we tackle the most intriguing topics in hip hop culture and the world around it. Now today we wanted to switch it up a little bit. You know who our favorites are, and who we think are winning the battles, catching shine, and all of that. But we want to ask the question: Who's the most underrated rapper today? Who's the most underrated? We know you guys have your ideas, so leave them in the comments. But I think you'll be pleasantly surprised by our choices. Anyway, subscribe, like, enjoy. And all you rappers out there, don't forget all the beats you hear, all the beats you've ever heard. It's Team Box Cutter Beats. Link is in the description. And anyway, with that being said, Lego. Who's the most underrated rapper today? Mm hmm Everybody probably has an opinion and a favorite as to who they feel is underrated. Mm hmm Who's not getting enough shine? Who doesn't get their props? For me, that's Pat Poops. Mm. Wise well, choice. <clears throat> and honestly, at this point, he may be one of the most underrated rappers of all time. Of all time, huh? Of all time. Okay. But let me go down the resume a few for a sec and uh, get y'all in tune if y'all not. Since 2004, since 2004, <laughs> Papoose has 29 mixtapes. Mm -hmm. Obviously, y'all missed a few things. You put the work in if you're not in tune. I caught on to Pap in about 05. He had some mixtapes before then, which was Auto War, Street Knowledge, Beast from the East, and Election Day. I copped Moment of Silence, and this is when back when we were still copping mixtapes. And people were bootlegging mixtapes, but I got I still have the original, like the copy, the, the real official copy of Moment of Silence. Mm-hmm. I said all that to say if you was back then you had the smack DVDs that was going on. Those of y'all who, who followed all of that, y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. He had alphabetical slaughter, where the guy rapped every letter in the alphabet, front to backwards. These are concepts and, 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 and things that I'm talking about when I say like when we say who's underrated and who doesn't get spoken of enough. When we talk about if, if we're talking about rapping and MCing. Like I said, when I caught on the moment of silence, he rapped over in and, and you know, he rapped over beats like Premiere and Timberland. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Revelations of a lyricist jumps out at me. Mm-hmm. The joint, the title joint, Moment of Silence. Mm. That jumps out at me. Bulletproof Love, that jumps out at me. Like, I'm telling y'all. Papoose is the truth. I ran that campaign for years now. So dudes that know me already know, like, I'm I'm preaching to the choir. Like, they already know. Like, y'all don't know. And this dude and Papoose. And years now. And not for nothing. Cause if you ask these dudes, like, it, you know, when you when you once you give a listen, you're gonna rearrange your top 10 or at least your top 20. If you didn't know. So Kendrick Lamar knows it. To your favorite rappers know it. So that's what I'ma say. I'ma let did, Bruce tell you who he who he thinks is 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 his uh, uh, the most underrated rapper today. But like I said, I just had to brief that with Pat Poops because a lot's been said, but let's we gotta be we gotta be honest about it. We gotta speak truth. The thing about it is uh, you see the shirt I got on, people? It said it's a little flat line right here. And it says, for a minute there, you bored me to death. 
That's what happens when you listen to too much Pat. It's the exact same cadence over the exact same beat. Mixtape over mixtape over mixtape over mixtape after song after song after song. And he does that on purpose. I don't think you can call him underrated. He's rated exactly where he wants to be. Spinners know him, big hip hop heads love him, and that's good. And that's exactly where he is. Underrated. Now, Nipsey Hussle. Nipsey Hussle is underrated. You know? This dude has the plethora of styles, cadences, songs that should be at 200 million views by now. And you say, well, wait a minute, Bruce, wait a minute. Nipsey Hussle, you know, I've seen some of his stuff with a million views, with two million views. Why is he underrated? You wanna know why? Because Ugly God has 27 million views on some of his songs, and Lil Yachty has 95 million views and 200 million views. There is no way that someone with the skill of a Nipsey Hussle should be under these guys. He's underrated, and he's the most underrated. He should be at the top of all of your pop charts and your hip hop charts, and he's not. He doesn't even make it halfway there. He's underrated. We look at songs like F Donald Trump with him and YG. Let's look at the different styles and cadences and beats. F Donald Trump with YG, straight up old school West Coast gangster. But the words he spit, outstanding. Uplifting. Well, not uplifting, he was he was downtrodden on the president. But for us, that's uplifting. <laughs> I mean, the political statements, your boy has them too. But then he has songs like Grinding, which is the West Coast trap style. Hard Enough, which is the new West Coast style which is where it takes a lot of old school West Coast sounds, beef them up and put bass under it. I don't stress, straight up Southern trap. Don't take, I don't take days off, which is trap R&B. Check me out, new West Coast style. And why I say that again, not because it's different, but his cadence on that, brand new. Brand new, not done by anybody before. Listen to it. The one, two, and the pause for a bar, and the one, two, and the pause for a bar, and the continuation of that, the repeat of that. I haven't heard nobody do it. Man, where your money at? No, no favors, ocean views, pop radio song. This is why I say underrated. This dude's pop radio song. 10 times better. 10 times better than anything that you're listening to right now. As it, you're watching this, and you go to your car, and you drive off, whatever you hear on the radio that's pop, Ocean Views is better than it. Check it out. And so when I say underrated, that's what I mean. Papoose is exactly where he wants to be, and it's exactly where he should be rated. A really good rapper. And he can do a lot of different things. So I know that he chose to be where he is. He chose to be where he is. That's not underrated. He's rated exactly where he belongs. <laughs> Nipsey, on the other hand, underrated. <laughs> that's kind of funny right there. He's exactly where he belongs. He's exactly where he belongs. A good rapper. Let me, let me, let me, let me ask you something real quick. Is Pat Poole a more skillful rapper than Nipsey Hussle? No. He's not. Mm mm. Okay. This guy's fibbing to y'all, right? No. <laughs> right wait on, a minute. Right on wait camera. a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, get a good picture of his face now. How, how do you? This guy's fibbing how right, do you, on, right on camera. Wait a minute. But check this how out. Do you, right? How do you say that he's a more skilled? I just, I just, it was just an honest question. Hey, does he it's, more skilled than Nipsey? It, I just, it was just an honest question. Do you feel that Papoose is more skillful of a rapper than Nipsey Hussle? No. Okay. Moving on. Here's my point in, in, in the matter. With me, it's substance. It's meat and potatoes. First of all, Bruce sat up here and fabricated and said that he doesn't switch up styles. He told me that he doesn't switch up cadence, which, I mean, your cadence is your cadence. Like, not, I mean, unless you, you know, you're making up voices. No, not, no, not you don't have to make up voices. Too many people, if you, if you're making you rap, up rhythms if you rap, beats. If you rap high, or you rap low. No, that's, you got the wrong that's, idea. That's pretty much your tone. Now your cadence. Tone and tone is different from cadence. Yeah. The, the reason why 
I know what you're gonna say. Go ahead and say it so I can dispute it, so I can tell you the difference. But in any matter, where I would like to uh, talk about with Papoose is that versatility that he displays. One, like I said, in, in, in the alphabetical slaughter that started off, which was early in his career, up tempo, and like I said, he's 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 rhyming about every letter, you know, with sense in the alphabet. Two, rap god. If you ever heard Eminem's version of rap god, where Eminem does anything but rap, simplistic or or uh, you know, the same as anything else you heard, as far as cadence mm -hmm. and, and 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 style, then listen to Papoose's rap god. And you understand exactly what I mean and what I'm talking about when I say the guy's versatile, versatility. He talks about it in his raps. He's one of the most versatile rappers out. And this is what I say when we say underrated. You don't hear that, but the truth is, right? As, as if you if you measured versatility and being able to rap bars within that versatility of cadence and format of the raps, how you delivering the raps, the deliverance of the. See, my partner says cadence. Cadence and deliverance is two different things. Cadence is how you're saying it. And delivery. Deliver, delivery is how you're saying it, but cadence is, is the voice you're saying it in. No, that's the, the cadence. The cadence. A cadence, as, as a drummer, I can show you. A cadence is is You're the rhythm. No, the, rhythms. the cadence is not the rhythm. Cadence. A quarterback has cadence. When he says, when he's saying, "Set hut," that's the cadence. Yeah, because it's how fast or slow he says it. It's the cadence. No, it's not the cadence. It's the voice he says it in. You're wrong huh? about that. But we'll look that no, up. We'll, we'll look, look that up. up after okay. The so show. anyway, so so, so, my, check it so out. my partner says cadence. But any in any in any event, like I said, and rap god is an example of how he how he switches the up. The only problem with rap god, I'm going to dispute, uh -huh. is. Every single one of the different cadences that he uses was actually done by Eminem. He did that on purpose to show that, hey, I can do it too. It doesn't mean that I made that up. He used someone else's, the, the format, and said that, showed how good he was that he could do that. He's rapping on somebody else's song. But he do, that's the point is, he doesn't choose any other beats for his stuff because he'd rather stay the exact same way every time. How is that the same if he's doing something Eminem did? Huh? How is it the same if he's doing something that Eminem did? On his mixtapes is what I'm saying. Again. He doesn't, he chooses, he chooses this this producer from this borough every time did this type of beat and rap this type of You're style wrong. every Again, time. He has, he's rhymed off a of beat such as, he rhymed off of Marvin Gaye. What's happening? He's rhymed off of Ron Isley. He's rhymed, he's rhymed off of 80s rock legends. So you're wrong about that. Furthermore, he has a song on his on his on his on his on his studio album LP where he's rhyming about cancer and AIDS with with a feature from Erica Badu. Mm -hmm. He has beats from Timberland, so it's not a producer from one borough like you would like the people to think or some or or, 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 or whatever whatever you're talking about. Yeah, his sound is pretty much so, the same, man. Yeah, how could it be but the same? Ahead, we ahead. just we just we just determined that his raps are not the same and his beats are not the same. Like I just pointed out. Nah, so I'll, I'll tell you what. So so like I said. And then we got stuff like Law Library. See, this is what I'm saying in my book when we talk about over underrated. Because stuff that matters, substance in the music and what you're talking about, the content in the music, that's what we're, that's what I'm talking, that's what measures high in my book. What you're talking about, not how you're saying it. And we could disagree about cadence all day. We'll look that up and tomorrow I promise you, we'll, we'll, de we'll determine who was wrong on that. Mm -hmm. But like I said, we could, we, could, we could talk about how you're saying it all day, but it's what you're saying what matters to me. What you're taking out the music. And what you take out the music when Papoose rhymes? Nah, not just alphabetical slaughter, where he showcases that he can get versatile when it comes to wordplay, but also talking about stuff that matters. I rap and that's and that's cancer, and that's AIDS. And that's cancer. And that's AIDS. That's talking about the law library, when dudes get into something in the streets and how to get up out of it, how to go about that. Law library. That's stuff that matters. That's stuff that matters. That's stuff people don't talk about when they talk about Pat Poops. But I'm gonna let Bruce finish it out, though. Listen, I love your passion. I love it. I'm here to tell you the reason why Nipsey Hussle, it, 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 20 minutes later, I get to talk back about Nipsey Hussle. The reason why Nipsey Hussle is the most underrated 
Someone who gets people like DJ Khaled, Scott Storch, Ninth Wonder, Don Cannon to, to do songs. These type of, of industry leaders, Snoop Dogg, Trey Songz, Tyga, Sean Kingston, Rick Ross, Freeway, and Sade. These are the types of songs, features, beats. The guy is a, a superstar rapper with a superstar uh, set of songs and albums. And just go check out Crenshaw. What I mean by difference is, when you listen to the Big Tape Crenshaw, which by the way was a $100 album that he sold and Jay-Z bought 100 copies of, marketing, the main thing you realize is from song one all the way down to the final song is every single song was a different style, a different type beat, a different cadence, and, and different tones. Different format, whatever you want to call it. That's a complete, complete body of work and it's just a mixtape. So he belongs up there. There's no way Lil Yachty, Ugly God, Rick Ross, or anybody else should have more views, more sales, or more hype than Nipsey Hussle, the most underrated. And I'm done. As I said, 29 mixtapes. 29 mixtapes. Two albums. He raps everything A to Z, and just about every subject you can, you can rap about between A to Z. And, and things that matter. Law Library. Dudes that's, that's really been in the streets, that really that really lived that street life. Educating dudes. When you catch that case, felonies and so on, and so forth, etc. Real talk, real rap. This is real rap. Pat Poos, man. Pat Poos, for real. All right, all right. This, it's up to y'all. What do you think? I know you have your own choices. Leave those. But who won the debate? Who wins this battle? Papoose? Nipsey Hussle. Who's the most underrated? Leave in the comments. Y'all feel different. All right. Well, today we got some we got some uh, comments to read out to you guys. That's why we ask you to leave the comments. Because we say them live and on the air. For you to see. Get your shine on. We're going to start with Faded NCS. Faded NCS said... Wonderful vid, period. I'm not even sure which one she was talking about or he was talking about. Faded NCS, thank you. Um, Chrisella241. Chrisella241 said, extremely informative. And I'm glad this conversation was recorded so other people can be educated about depression. That, of course, is about our, uh, our show that we did on hip hop, depression, and a black family. And Chrisella241 says it's extremely informative. Y'all check it out. Thank you so much, Chrisella241. Thank you. What you think? I love it. I love the comments. Appreciate yeah. the love. Steph Whitaker. Steph Whitaker says, great interview with my girl, Lisa. Go, girl. That's what's up, Steph. <laughs> uh, talking about Lisa Natalie. Lisa Natalie Johnson, to be exact. Shout out. Shout out, shout out. New York, keep doing your thing. Oh, man, and I love that interview. Like I said, man, it was about a topic that was necessary. Y'all check it out. Demon Hunt Jr. says, at King Push. I'm pretty sure I know what that means. He's going with Pusha T. Sound about right, Damon. Sound about right. That's all right. I ain't going to hate on you for that. <laughs> all right. Uh, what's going on, TV? What's going on TV says Murder Mook never lost. It's another one on your side, man. Smart. We got smart viewers. We appreciate it. I know we got some of the smartest viewers on the net, quite frankly, but them last two I'm not sure about. Anyway, all jokes aside, we love all of y'all, man. All of y'all who appreciate watch. Your love out, dude. Yeah, listen, all of that. Thank you very much. That's the basement. Till next time, we'll be back next Tuesday, and you know what's coming. You know what's coming. Young Dolph dropping his thing April 1st, and we're going to debate, talk, scream, yell, all of that next Tuesday. We out of here. Peace. Pat Poos, Pat. Poops. This nigga was lit. I already know. This guy. We got the most packs in the most packs for 20.
20 years straight, man. He never got a chance to get it off, man.